cities. Yeah, we're in a different location. I feel like the, I feel like, is it, are we working? Is it working? You know, it stopped working there for a second. This is weird. Um, Shat McGat, well. What? Shat McGat, he's a cousin of mine. Oh, really? He's a cousin of mine. He's a good guy. You got a lot of cousins, don't you? Yeah, you know, it's an extended family, you know. They live around here. They live around there. You know, everybody's really a cousin, you know. Everybody really is. I mean, if if you go back far enough. Can I say this real quick? Talking about cousins, okay, this I this took me a minute to understand. This girl that I used to go to high school with, she posted, because she has these bridesmaids, right? She's posting, like, different questions for her, like, bridesmaids, like, will you be my bridesmaid? One of the things she said was, um, you've always been my cousin, now soon to be sister-in-law. Will you be my <laughs> bridesmaid? You always were my cousin. So, <laughs> so, but so then her brother is also her cousin. That's what I was thinking, but I, I guess later I had found out. I guess her cousin is married to her brother's the married <laughs> to her fiance's brother. Her cousin, her cousin. This is a lot to take in. We didn't even sorry, say hello. Sorry, really. sorry. We didn't even tell them we're here. You know, I hello. Just, anyway, so <laughs> there's a cousin banging a cousin. A cousin is married to her fiance's brother. So it's not a guest blood. Okay, so it's like an in-law type situation. Yeah, but like... they're cousins. It's like if sisters were married to brothers. Like, they're blood here and they're blood there, but this is not necessarily blood until they have kids, I guess. Now, is that not, like, too close, though, you know? I, I know. feel like that's a lot going on, really. I can't really say anything, because, like, I did... I was dating my sister's boyfriend's stepbrother which again stepbrother is not really like hold on hold on <laughs> your sister her her boyfriend so it was we were sisters okay, and we okay. were dating her boyfriend's brother. stepbrother yeah well that's fine Step. i'm saying if it was her brother and her sister i think if you have if brothers and brothers and sisters and sisters get together I don't know about that. That seems like double jeopardy at minimum. Double jeopardy, yeah. <laughs> well, today is um, Tuesday. October, Tuesday, October 4th, and we are not it's dating a, our cousins. Or That's right. As, as of, of today. Tuesday, October 4th, <laughs> I'm still not dating my cousin. She won't return my phone calls. <laughs> 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 I don't know what's up with that. Mary Lou, you know, get out of the hay and give me a call back, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, it's uh, Tuesday, October 4th. It's a, it's a crisp, it's a cool October Night, 4th. Yeah. And we're here for the ice room. It is the ice room, although we're in a different room. Do you want to give us a little? Yes. It's been, it's been a couple it's been weeks. A, it's been a while. S- since we've it's done the intro, while. Molly. I've been stressing. Um... Yeah, we got to do the intro. We got to do the intro. Let's first. give her an intro here. Yeah, yeah. Start yeah. us off. Start play off. Start off the band. Ba da ba ba. Chum chum chum. Ba da ba ba. 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 Ba da ba I think that Ooh, was that good. That was really good. That I was think really that was good. <laughs> it's I been think, a minute. I think if I'm going to be honest, I think that maybe the only critique is I think you wanted me to come in there and do the ice room with you at the end. Oh. Whereas I wanted to just hand it off oh, to really? you. Oh, really? You know, okay, for you okay. to do, you know, yeah, I, I present it and you you hit them with the yeah. ice room. That was really good, though. I liked that one. That one was like really good. That we're, we're hitting strides. We're hitting peaks. You know, we're connecting. We you are. Know? We're sitting actually here on the same rug, in fact. Um, and I think that the fibers are connecting our brain waves, yes. you know, for a perfect intro. I agree. I think I agree. it's this color right here, this blue with the you orange. You like that blue? Yeah. And the pink. I think this is a rug that I enjoy, honestly. Yeah. I do. I, I like it. It's a, I enjoy it, definitely. I How do you feel it. about the rug? I enjoy <laughs> I enjoy it. Yeah, I enjoy it. It's nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You think this is how many? A thousand thread count rug or what? How I do have they? No idea. Is that how they rate that, or that's like pillows, right? I think that's pillows. Mm-hmm. I uh, I think mm-hmm. they go more by dimensions. 
I was doing a lot of dimensions the other day. Oh, they do go by dimensions, like yeah. nine by sixteen. But I meant like this more of like a good a, seven, uh, <laughs> seven ten by seven ten. Good seven yeah. by ten. Yeah, Molly was in yeah. the. You know, if you were selling a rug, uh, seven by ten, Molly was in the market the other day. You missed uh, out. She missed out. I bought one. It's, so it's it's too late. But you know, just letting you know that opportunity was there. You know. <laughs> Next time, hustle harder, you know? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, I did. So we haven't been able to make any videos in a minute. It's been a while. It's been a while. I've been uh, stressing on my own life. Mm -hmm. um, going back to school, these kids... Little rug rats. Basically, that's Molly in class. It's been a lot going back. Today actually is my first day that I took off because I was not feeling well. And tomorrow's Yom Kippur, so we're off tomorrow as Yo, well. Yo, shout out Yom Kippur. Yeah, shout out Yom Kippur. The festival of lights, some call it. Oh really? That's the that's the one. No. Okay, no, I didn't think so. That's um, Diwali. Diwali. Diwali is the festival of lights, you know, which is also coming up whenever that is. I think it is in like November. No, Listen, October. If you think about it, everything is coming up. You it know, is everything. Eventually, October third is coming up. You know, it's uh, that passed it. <laughs> Actually, I'm saying it, it was yesterday, but in 365 days, I guess it's it coming, coming up. up. Yeah, you know everything's I, coming up if right. you think about it. You know, all right. I understand that. Including us, Molly. We're on, we're on the come up. We are on the we're come. We're coming up <laughs> out here. I'm coming up. Sorry, am um, I allowed to sing? Or, no, yeah, you are can. they going to get upset with no, me? No, if no, I nobody sing? get no. Okay, all right. Good. Well, yeah. I'll contain my. my. <laughs> um. And then I also ended up moving into my own place, which is where we are right now, where I don't have furniture, which is why we're sitting on this lovely rug together. And um, We are. Molly has welcomed us into her humble abode <laughs> here, and, and we are greatly delighted to have the ice room here for you guys, you know, uh, here. Molly actually planned on putting her... Uh, she was. She's working on a couple uh, self uh, portraits. Self portraits. Yeah. Are you going through? What did you say? Your blue period right now, or My, or your yellow oh, period? She said. I I would say probably yellow. Yeah. Your yellow, yellow period. period yeah. yeah. So it's gonna be you know quite happy you know cheery colors, um, little self portrait style you know. All over the place. Just the to, only pictures that will be hanging are pictures of me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe a couple ice cubes for the ice room. You know. Got a shout out. <laughs> Got a shout out. <laughs> Because <laughs> you guys listening, you guys are the ice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually, that's so good. That is actually so good. Our fans are the ice cubes. <laughs> the ice cubes. Somebody's got to keep it cold. You know, you guys are out there keeping it cold in the ice room for us. And we appreciate cool. that dearly. Um, speaking of keeping it cool, you just reminded me this really funny story of, and I know none of this has to do with of how your refrigerator door is the wrong way. No, 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 no. <laughs> this kid in my class, my room got so hot, and he was like, "Can I go to the nurse?" I was like, "Yeah, sure." And then I'm like doing my thing, right, teaching. And this kid is so funny. Normally, when kids come into the room and just like interrupt the whole entire class i get like annoyed but this was so funny he comes in and he's just like what's his name uh, first name no maybe not never mind we'll just say mp mp give him a, give him a silly name give a, <clears throat> like is this he reminds Johnny? me of he reminds me of a character from like um hey arnold like who is like the mean kid in hey arnold oh you know i don't think i've ever seen hey arnold honestly oh I don't know. He reminds me of like a character. I can't put my finger on it. I don't know if it's from like I don't know. But anyway, we'll so figure it out. So he's a silly kid, probably silly cool kid. sneakers. What do you, what are we saying? Puffer jacket? How are we looking? Um, hoodie on this hoodie. guy? Big you hoodie know, guy? Boy, yeah, kids in high school always hoodie. Dusty jeans? No. Skechers? He's, no, he's like he's <laughs> usually a good fit. Good oh, fit. good fit. Fit it up. Jays? Like, I don't know. Normal. Wear. Yeah, he probably does wear them. I just don't notice. But, mm -hmm. like, he he wears decent clothes. I think he's, like, a hot shot. You know, oh, like, he's a hot shot. What I is this again? He's funny. This is he's sophomore year high school, clowns. right? Yeah. He's actually a senior. He's in, like, he's a senior. He's in, like, my algebra two. So, he's, like, with a lot of, a lot of like, juniors and yeah, junior. I see what you're not. saying. He's in algebra two as a senior, <laughs> and that's a more but like a junior class. He goes to the nurse, he comes back, and he's just like, Man, I thought she was gonna give me an ice pack. She gave me a t shirt. 
and he turns around and this t-shirt first of all is like two sizes too small for he said this he was kid. too hot yeah and this t-shirt is like bright red and you know those little like red coolers that like you bring to like the beach or something like those small little okay, red coolers. little igloo it guy was a pic- yes yeah like igloos he like literally it had a picture of an igloo and it said class of 2016 just a little cooler <laughs> i was oh, cracking up. <laughs> like this was the funniest thing ever and then he sits down and like he's just like talking later and like 10 minutes later he's just like yeah 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 it was like it was like a little cool and i was like would you say a little cooler <laughs> and he just starts cracking up but that was like yo pop, that's pop. good that's good yeah. i like that i like a nice dad joke on a yeah, <laughs> on a shirt out here. That was this is good. good stuff. You actually have your algebra two bro- book. A couple yeah. of them. I have. Yo, you be geometry. studying. How good of math are you these days, Molly? Honestly, I they surprise myself. I do surprise could myself. You, could you whip out long division right now? I definitely oh, could shit. do long Don't division. Do it. I could. I could <sighs> cut it um, out. Yeah, I had fractions. Fractions, I'm pretty decent at. Yeah, I'm starting to like. Yeah, starting to get real good. Real good at math. Yeah, Yeah, real good at math. You got your times tables down. What's nine times eleven? Oh, (laughs) ninety nine. But it's been good. We make jokes. Yeah. You know, we, um, you know, we haven't seen you as I much know, at the restaurant. Know. You know, obviously, you're undertaking such a, a big journey. You know, that's the interesting part of a, of a waiter's life is is a uh, or a bartender is you know you kind of are looking for something more. Not to say that it's not, uh, you know, I know, there's certain monetarily goals that it does not fulfill. You know, and and that's the thing about being a server is you know knowing when do I need to leave and move to a different job. Yeah. You know, being able to find the skills and you know, put the steps in place to move to another job. You know, it's an interesting part about that job. You know, you know it's a stepping stone. You know, it's mm-hmm. never going to be an end-all be-all. Although, I mean, it might be. You know, if you're if you're people, in five-star, yeah. you know, listen, it might be. I'm not saying yeah. it can't be. I know. I'm saying certain people do aspire and, and see it, you know, and it's an interesting part that you're undergoing. I definitely miss it. Like, I, I mean, I work there every now and then, but, like, it's hard because I coach, too, so, like, I miss because I have, like, meets on Saturdays and then I only work, like, Sunday mornings and then I'm, I have to go home and grade stuff and prepare for the next week. So it's hard to do both. It's hard. Yeah. So I'm, like, I definitely... I miss it. I miss the people. I miss like working with everybody um, a lot. Like when I see people go out and I'm not like there, I'm like, damn, I feel like I'm never there. So I never get an invite or nothing. So I miss yeah. it. Um, it is, you know, cause it is such a fun community. And I think that sometimes maybe like, I feel like sometimes, you know, I need to be mature about it and realize that there are better decisions sometimes that I can make for my life than continuing to be a server, although I enjoy it. Yeah. You know, it's a very interesting, hate to, sorry, get so serious with this all of a sudden, you know. <laughs> so quit your some, serving job and do something better with your life. You know, no. yeah, no, I mean, I, no. I, I actually kind of have been there a little bit more recently because we've been having less work, you know, uh, as electrical, you know, as a, as a, an electrician's apprentice. I've been having less work because there's less jobs or whatever mm. is going on. So I've been at the restaurant a little bit more, which is, it's been good to have there in that spot to be like, hey, I could just walk back into it. Yeah. But then I'm like, well, what am I doing walking back into it? You know, I think, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I feel, I definitely, there's these where I'm like, when I'm working there, I'm like, God, I don't really want to be here. Like, I mean, that's like with any job, <laughs> but yeah. like, I feel like sometimes I'm like, uh, but it is also really when, fun, you know, when there's a bunch of us standing around joking about something. Yeah. You know? I guess with bartending, I don't feel like that as much. Like we're always just like working. I mean, the, I mean, it's still fun and that's stuff, interesting. but it's not like serving, like serving when you're bored, you guys are eating, sitting, talking together, chilling, like 
going in the back in the kitchen doing fun stuff like videoing this that and third and then like bartenders were just like always out in the front so we can laugh together and joke but it's not like we're eating and like sitting. I think we were having this conversation recently or uh, I don't know I might have somebody else I think I think she was saying her sister might have even been like I want to do uh some serving shifts for like similar reasons. I think that was her her sister was saying. Yeah, Yeah. she was saying that, right? I could see that because I also, I also really do want to like serve parties. Like I know I used to, I used to make so much money last year. And like, I'm not saying I don't make a lot of money bartending, but I definitely was making a lot of money last year just doing parties. And I was a go-to party person. Now I feel like they don't Oh, you even... are a party person. Don't forget that. I... <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Unsa Gensa, Unsa Gensa. I've seen you. I've seen you. Yeah? Molly tears up the dance floor, okay? Oh, I don't think she ain't no party Lissa. person out here. <laughs> um, Literally tears up the dance floor. But I actually really do like doing parties, both serving and bartending. Because, like, bartending's a little easier setup. But, like, serving, I personally always enjoyed, like, setting up and not so much the breakdown, but setting I don't up. I mind a nice setup every once in a while. Yeah. You know, you gotta roll and now the I don't tables ever get out. You know, it. like, and I get it because I only work like a few days. But you know it who just has sucks. been has been on that kind of cool. uh, Alec. You Alec trained. This is well. Alec isn't on one this weekend, but Alec did two or three weekends. Three weekends ago, I trained with Jalen, baby. Yelen. <laughs> and then uh and then I did a party with uh the wonderful Cassandra and uh Ashanti, you know, and they really carried me. And then this last weekend I actually just had one uh party by myself. No, I didn't. Don't be I was I was there. Don't do not do not. She doesn't have a mic, so uh. she said that I did a great job. Nobody even heard that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god but no i am um, i do miss doing parties a lot and serving maybe not so much I'm like maybe during the holidays it would be a little fun to do but like it is fun the holiday ones are fun you know i yeah. had a i had a reunion the other day which was fun it was fun it was like an older reunion these people were definitely a little bit like 60 70 something like that excuse me I think it was the class of 87 or something like that. I don't know what kind of math that was, but uh hmm. they were they were great. You know, it was a great party, especially once they started getting lit up like the like a, like a Christmas tree. Oh. But in the beginning, it was it wasn't it wasn't easy going. I'm not going to lie to you, you know. I can't sit here and lie to you. That's not in my character. <laughs> you know. <laughs> In the, um, they were just out here disputing the contract. Sorry, lost my train of thought. I hate, I hate They were out here disputing the contract. The contract says this, we set up this. Well, actually, we were supposed to have it like this, you know. It's going to happen so often. I know it does. You know, you know, I used to do ones with our our friend Virginia back Mm -hmm. in the uh, olden day, you know, when we were cowboys and, uh. Those were always set up nice. Those were always like I feel like really good. You know, if I'm if I might say, I do enjoy the fact like because Virginia would do our banquets, but she was also like the general manager or the AGM on the floor. Mm-hmm. So like, I like how Cynthia's un, undivided attention yeah. is the party. Like yeah. she doesn't really like do anything else in the restaurant. Now it does create a little bit of like a. <sighs> a difference in like rules and like it creates a lot of it creates a little bit of division you know and I don't like to say that because that's a rough word but there's kind of like you know she doesn't really know what's going on in the restaurant you know and it, you know it, it could get a little eh, you know yeah that's all I need to say you know yeah you know I don't want to uh uh, no, I I understand what you're saying. But this but this party the other day they were asking they they then they started being but I love how she has her undivided attention on the yeah. party because Jenny even she was great you know helped us so much but she also would then like be on the floor yeah which was no fault to her there wasn't other people to help you know yeah for whatever you know but whatever we passed we moved past these things mm-hmm. the thing that I wanted to say was this party is uh 
requesting, you know, they're like, we had to bring the tent inside. So they're on the other side of the bar and they're like, well, we don't want to have other people seeing us party. You know, <laughs> we don't, they're going to be over there on the other side of the bar. Well, she told us they weren't going to be over there. Oh, you know, and <laughs> it's like, well, there's people that exist in the world. Are you telling me that you're uncomfortable with people existing in the world? Yeah. Like, like if you wanted the whole outside, you'd have to like definitely buy out like the whole outside. That's what she was like trying to barricade like a table by the outside bar door, like where the security guard will sit and that door to the ramp. She was like, can we block off like half the entrance so that they like can't come in? And it's like. Well, you're, you're the topest, you know? You're not yeah. the the whole restaurant, you know? Yeah, that's weird. And, uh, you know, the wonderful man, J-O-N, was there to, you know, lend a hand and, and you know, make it happen, you know? Yeah. Alec was kind of like, hey, you know, I'm going to set up the buffet. You know, you guys, you know, be whatever that is over there. <laughs> Sorry, you know, I'm just rambling. Molly! Sorry, like... <laughs> No, that's good. I'm happy that you're getting into parties again. Because like I said, I really miss parties. What is this? They are pretty fun. You know, they could be hectic. And and they could be fun. You know, it's uh, it's nice. You know, it's it been nice. a little bit busier, though. You know, once football started, you know, we were there the last time I saw you there. And I know you've been there since then. I think I saw you do service bars since then. I've seen you there a couple times since then, but we did football Sunday the other day. Yeah, you were there. I was there and you were there <laughs> and I thought that I'm was... I'm always there. You're never there. I, and you know, I'm well, th- that's not my choice. No. I, you could, know, actually, you can I tell definitely. you, I was nine o'clock. I was there all day Sunday, yesterday, or two days ago. Rather. Wow. Are you say? are you trying to throw shade? Cause I'm no, I was there. a double because I was there that day. You know, I'm not saying, no, I ain't throwing no shade. You got to teach Algebra 2 out here. That's what, <laughs> listen, I can't be teaching. Do I look like I know my times tables? You know, I, I mean, hope Give me so. one right now. Electrician? Give me one right now. Uh, 9 times 11. Oh, 98. Oh, oh my God. So close. Off so by close, one. So sorry, close, sorry. So Damn, wait, is it? Uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You know. 99, and, just in case. Yeah, 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 just in just case. In case. Yeah, 99 problems. I'll remember that by... That's the Jay-Z problem. Yes. I think 9 times 11, that's the Jay-Z problem. Yep, yep, yep. You got 9 mm-hmm. times 11 problems. And one of them is you can't do math. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's been good. It's been we did good. have that wonderful football Sunday, though, at, at the restaurant. Yeah. Those those get hectic out there. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like from a bar's perspective, we're like, oh, How it's do you not feel that about busy. That? Yeah, really. And then when we go outside the bar, everybody's like, side, though, right? yeah, outside, a serving side. You know, this yeah. is rough on the ankles down here. I you know, know. It's, it's cool. I like it. But the I think I gave myself like a wedgie being on this. Like, I think I opened <laughs> the door <laughs> to have like a wedgie or something. You opened the door to having a wedgie. Yeah, if that makes any sense. Yeah, no, I it hurt. <laughs> But, like, I'm definitely trying to play it off. Well, by sitting on the floor, you're opening the door. Yeah, we're both, looking at us, we're both just wiggling on the floor. (laughs) We're like, like, oh. oh." Um, (laughs) You can't keep us tied down. We won't sit in chairs. We'll sit on the floor and we don't give a damn. But I'm happy you guys came at the end of the day. I know that this had to be, like, you know... Yeah, a well, sh- a short little potty for well, you little ice cubes out there. For all you little ice cubes out there, you know what? Thank we're happy you. to have a short little potty, and we're happy to have you on for we're a short little potty. We're gonna make time. We'll do more. Hey, hey, we listen, gotta make more. One, we gotta do more. Hey, you get what you get, and you don't get upset. And that's what Molly tells Algebra Two students <laughs> all day yeah, long. She's yes. she's handing out life lessons to these Algebra Two students. Yeah, I just think that this is funny. I've been trying to like. I moved the computer earlier. Yeah, I'm like. Ahead, I was trying to tell you you could have put it like I don't know. Oh on yeah, the, but on I didn't ground. want to move it and have it like you know explode by accident. You know that's yeah, always no. what happens with these computers. You, you know you move know. them real quick, boom, and, and they explode. You know, but um, but yeah, thank you for thank you for thank, thank you. you for coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank me. Um, yeah. Do you have anything else to say? No, you know, I mean, uh, thank you for uh, coming back 
to the Ice Room You Ice Cubes for the 13th episode. Oh, shit. 13. That's, uh, that's, that's unlucky, but you know what? That's a scary number. And it's October. It's scary, it scary season. Should we make this 14? Or like, Let's just skip 13. <laughs> <laughs> Let's come back to it. Maybe towards uh, like Halloween we'll make like 13. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make this 14 and we'll skip back and we'll do 13 as a spooky episode. A spooky, yeah. Okay. I'm okay, down. that's a plan. Okay. Well, thank you, Molly. You have thank a you, you have a great night. You have a great night. Um, and as always, go Giants. Go Giants.